Okay. What I'm doing now, first of all, is uh, bringing up the software, the ISMS number generator. As you can see, I am generating number from a 716. I just sat there and generated 501 numbers that quick. Now I'm saving the numbers that I just generated. Put them in a file, save them to the desktop just to show you your sample real quick. Right. Now, after you generate your phone numbers, uh, you can generate them in any sequence you want, any area code. There they are, right there. Okay. Now, I'm showing you guys. Now, this here is a Windows Media Player. What I did was I recorded something, uh, which is a sample of something that I did for a commercial. And then what I'm pointing to up there is the macro. It's a macro. I don't, if you don't know what macros are, macro records the keystrokes and the things that you do. See, this is called Auto Macro Recorder. And all I did was download uh, the, the, uh, the limited, it's free, it's a trial version seems to never run out I didn't ever buy the one so then the other application that I have is Google Google phone okay the Google talk so you want to have your numbers generated you want to have your media player and you want to have uh, your Google you want to open that up okay this is my software real quick the only thing you're gonna have to pay for is the SMS number generator you can generate SMS leads into the millions it's only $99 you know get that that's how I make my money you know what I'm saying but after you get that you'll be able to do all these different things you'll be able to uh, generate phone numbers in any city anywhere uh, put your phone numbers in and generate them now I'm showing you here a setup on how you can create your own auto dialer online. Okay, you first you go up here, you highlight the number, right? Copy and you paste it. Okay, and then you delete it twice so it brings it up in the list. Then you copy and you paste it into Google, and then you make a phone call. Then after you do that, you're gonna you're gonna play your message. I would say play it like two or three times. Then you come over and you shut it off, and then you click out of it, and then you start it again. Okay? And then you go and you do the same thing over again. And then what's going to happen is it's going to keep recording over and over.